Hey guys, I'm the Burke and I do things and today I tried out some new makeup on my face and yeah, you know how it goes. If you want to know everything about this, then keep on watching. Let's go. Okay, so my first product is going to be a powder foundation. So I did a lot of prep work on my face already. So for my brows, I used the Benefit Precisely My Brow and the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. Then for primer, I used the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. Then I spot concealed my face with the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Breakout. I concealed under my eyes with the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealer. And then I primed my eyes with the MAC Paint Pot. Okay, so I've been kind of avoiding this for a while, but I really just want to try it. So this is the J-Cat Aqua Assurance Powder. I think since I've bought this, they've come out with a better shade range. So when I bought this, Ivory was the, le was the lightest shade, and I've kind of avoided it knowing that it oxidizes a lot. But I figured, you know what, let's just try it. I'm a little bit self-tan still, so I have watched people just use the little squishy thing it comes with to apply it. So that's what I'm going to do. And I've seen Fatala set it with the Catrice to like give it some life. So I'm gonna see how this works. I don't know really how this works like under the eyes and stuff. So we're just gonna go for it. All right, here we go. Wow, I don't know if I've ever like noticed a powder foundation do this. I mean, it's definitely not full coverage, but it's giving a surprising amount of coverage. Okay, so I'm gonna spray it with this because this is what the Taylor said makes it like magical. That really does look good. Let's give it one more in the center. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, while that dries, I'm gonna open the eyeliner. I'm gonna try. So I got this as a free sample from Ulta. <laughs> if you hear loud noises in the background, Scott has friends over watching the Sixers game. But the show must go on up here. So this is from Sleek Makeup, and this is the Life Proof 12 Hour Wear Metallic Eyeliner in the shade Break and Enter. So let's kind of do a swatch of it. Oh, it's very creamy. It's almost like a metallic purpley brown. Okay, I'm gonna pop this in the water line really quick. Okay, I'm shocked. This is one of the creamiest eyeliners I've used that's a drugstore brand. I really am looking forward to seeing how this holds up. Now I have an eyeshadow quad that I bought on sale at Target, and when I like went and looked online, I didn't see it listed online anymore, so I don't know if you can still buy it. This is the Makeup Geek Infatuation eyeshadow palette, but they're basically, four singles from Makeup Geek and the, the names are listed back here. So I don't know if these are ones that you can buy on their website sale. So I'll link the singles if I can find them online. So let's see if I can. So I think we have, oh God. So I think we have one is Shimma Shimma. So we have Shimma Shimma, which they have like as an inner corner highlight. I've never used Makeup Geek eyeshadows. These are so soft. No, no, one is called Grandstand. So that's Grandstand. It's very hard to understand. Then I think this one over here is Shimma Shimma. These are so soft. Wow, okay. Then, <laughs> I'm trying so hard. Then number three here is Frappe. Okay. And then number four is Aphrodite. Like I said, I'll try to find these online and link them that way so i think it's a really nice palette that you could easily make an eye look out of so my only issue with these makeup geek shadows while i try to get all this off um is that they originally retailed for 20 dollars at target which seems like a lot of money i did grab this one on sale for 15 and then i found another quad on sale for seven i'm not sure if makeup geek is leaving target because they're very high priced and no one bought them but i'm not really sure so what i wound up doing is setting my Paint, MAC Paint Pot with the AOA Studio Press Powder. And then I'm going to go in with Frappe over here in the crease with the Luxie 229 brush. I'm 
I'm also gonna run that underneath a little. Then I'm gonna take Shima Shima and just pop that on the lid. Oh wow, that's pretty. That's very pretty. Then I'm gonna take this Morphe M562 with Aphrodite on the outer corner. And then I'm going to take this Morphe M431 brush with Grandstand in the inner corner. Again, I think I'm saying the shades right. I'll make sure to look them up below and correctly identify them. But like, this is awesome. I love when a little eyeshadow palette is just like easy, like, okay, we have transition, lid, outer corner, inner corner. Like, I think that is what is my favorite kind of look at this point. I even might add a little bit to the brow bone, why not? For my first time with Makeup Geek eyeshadows, I'm extremely impressed and very happy with how this is looking. So I'm going to go bronze my skin and then I have an interesting palette to test out with you guys. Okay, so I bronzed with the Pretty Vulgar Bronzed Mannequin Bronzer. Now, the blush highlight situation is something that I bought from Shop Miss Hay. This is the Amuse Cosmetics Blush Trio. So I'm gonna swatch this because I don't know if I can say this a blush trio. Comes with a weird little brush that we're just gonna throw to the side. So it looks to me like a blush and two highlighters. So let's see what these things even look like. All right, here are the shades. One, two, three. So I feel like these are too dark for me. So I'm gonna see if I just use, oh God, it's so crumbly. I'm gonna try using just a blush brush with this pink shade and see what this looks like. Oh gosh, that is a lot of, a lot of shimmery blush. So that's one of my thoughts with this palette is I think it looks really pretty and I think it would be really great for someone with maybe like a little bit more of a deeper skin tone than me because if you like shimmery blush and these highlighters work on your skin tone, if you like for a dollar, it's really not a bad deal. It's just that for someone like me, I'll really, I'll really only get use out of the shimmery blush, but I really don't think we need to highlight with that blush on right now. So I'm going to set my face with the Flower Beauty Spray. And then we can try out a new mascara. So this is the Tarte Tartiest, 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 Tartiest mascara. I've tried the Man Eater, which I think is okay. I've tried Lights, Cameras, Lashes, which I like. So now we have this guy. I think I got, oh my God, did the whole thing just come apart? I think it did. Please don't. I think this, is that supposed to be like that? I guess it is. Never mind. All right, let's go. Okay, so that's one eye with and one eye without. I actually think that looks pretty good. Interestingly enough, it almost reminds me of a combination of lights, cameras, lashes with the Man Eater mascara. It's almost like a little bit of each combined into one. So that's kind of interesting. Now for a lip product today, we're going to try one I bought from Kohl's. This is the Pixi Matte Lip liquid lip in Au Naturel. Now I have currently Pastel Petal. This was in one of my, this was one of my best of 2018 lip, uh, lip products. I love this formula. So when I saw a sale at Kohl's, I was like, yes, cause Pixie is kind of pricey. So <laughs> I don't really buy it unless it's on sale. So let's see what this color looks like. Oh God, so it's a little different. All right, so here's, Au Naturel versus Pastel Petal. You know, I have my aesthetic. But this is a really, really good formula for the drugstore. Actually, on the lips, this color looks totally different. <laughs> so that's actually a good thing. And yeah, that is it. So let's go through everything. We had a pretty good video. So the JCAT Aquashorns powder. It's so interesting how not powdery my makeup looks. 
maybe it's because like there's a whole less layer of makeup on my face but it honestly feels really really good i'm very happy about that this sleek eyeliner definitely one of the best i've tried from the drugstore i think it looks really good in the waterline i look forward to seeing how it holds up throughout the day these makeup geek eyeshadows were awesome i don't know what's going on if they're leaving target or not but i'll definitely make sure to at least link these four shades down below if they still sell them so the Amuse Cosmetics Blush Trio, like I said, if you are shopping from Shop Masse and maybe you have a skin tone a little darker than me, I would think this would be a really nice, more highlighty, glowy palette for you. Then we have the Tarte Tartist Mascara. So far, it's looking so good. I am picky with mascara though, so we'll see if it stands the Rachel test. And then finally, the Eau Naturale Lipstick. It's already dried down. It dries down very quickly, and I definitely, f dying. I definitely find that the formula is long lasting. So you definitely can buy Pixi at Target and Kohl's. I'm just waiting for the days when it comes to Ulta, and I can use my Ulta rewards on it. And yeah, that is it for this video. Let me know in the comments. Have you guys tried any of these products? How did they work out for you? Down there. And as usual, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. I have my Twitter and my Instagram down below. Give them a follow and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.